Hey guys, welcome back um, to part 1, 2, 3, 4, no that's not even a part, 4, um, what part are we on? I think it's 5, seriously, <laughs> you'd think I'd, I'd know, but yeah, I'm sorry, yeah it's 5, I remember. So last time, um, we escaped the dormitories, um, before anything bad could potentially happen to us. And we defeated and destroyed HK-50. I went straight in for that. I didn't even bother talking to him or anything. I just could not. We was coming to the end of the video and I just really couldn't be bothered listening to his 10 minute runs. So I just went straight to him because he, he was trying to keep us on the administration level long enough for the exchange to come and take my bounty. Naughty droid. So, then what are we doing on this ship? We were better off in the facility. You two are these people Jedi? talk and you two are the worst Jedi I've ever met. <laughs> Maybe I would. At least I was safe there. We cannot go back into the facility. If the assassin machine is correct, then we cannot reach the hangar. Be silent. I need some time to think. Look, I don't mean to cast another shadow on this. But even if you could reach the ship you came in on, it wouldn't matter. You'll need the orbital drift charts to clear the Paragus asteroid. Unless you want to have the shortest flight out of Paragus ever recorded. Well, of course they have the asteroid drift charts in their nav computer. They'd have to. Well, we'd have to get to the bridge. I mean, well, that's the biggest problem I can see. There's a sound cloud at the moment. Let us go. Our enemies gather while we wait here. So, I know, right, basically, this is the part of the game when influence is introduced. So, to get influence straight away for Athena, I'll explain what influence is in a minute. Just trust me on this. Just say, Adam's plan was a good one, let's head to the bridge. Alright, this won't end well. Trust me. Basically, from this point on, as you progress through the game, um, you will encounter influence opportunities. The game will not tell you that you are experiencing an opportunity. I just happen to know all of the opportunities to get influence. So we're gonna use a part and not a spike. Now we're gonna download the drift shots. But we're not gonna waste time watching the log. So basically what influence does is later on in the game well um you have the opportunity to start training your party members, like Atten, for example, to be Jedi. Well, in order to do that, you require a high amount of influence with those people, with the, with the person you want to train. So, say Aston, for example, if I wanted to, oh dear, um, this is where it all goes wrong. Um, if I wanted to make Aston a Jedi, I would require a high amount of influence to basically unlock certain conversations with him that would progress to him becoming a Jedi and thus find the game more amazing. And I kind of, one of Shem's mods uh, that I've had for a while, I kind of have it in, in my um, override folder giving these guys lightsabers to make them more realistic. And I remember telling my friend about this that that would be a disaster because it, it will be a disaster. My party members will be up there and dead. Oh, it's gonna be horrible. Like Kraya, for example, she just died. Sadly, we can't loot them for lightsabers. That'd be a bit overpowered, but... Does she have force heal yet? Nope. Next level, probably. So, that didn't go smoothly at all. So... <laughs> let's just turn our shields on. Good job we got all of those medkits from Paragus. Otherwise, <laughs> we might be a bit in trouble at this moment. I don't even know why I've turned our shields on. I think their lightsabers will just deplete the shield straight away. But, yeah. I really don't know why I did it. I downloaded it and, and installed all of Shem's mods just because they're all cool. In my opinion. Never mind the fact that it was. I never planned on making a start in YouTube when I did install the mods. And if I knew that today I would be doing videos for you guys. I probably I know I can un uninstall it. It's just effort and stuff. <laughs> so, 
that one was a bit easier. Oh god, I think getting killed. Uh, but it's okay if Adam dies, and I'll explain why when I'm not spending for my life. Right, so it's okay for Asim to die. Uh, not if he's the last party member alive, but if you've got party members alive, it's okay for him to die. Because he has a special ability that no other party member has, and it's unacquirable, it's not like a feat or anything. But will basically, <laughs> he'll basically stand up after a few seconds during combat. Yeah, which makes him quite good as a party member. How many of these? Right, we have plenty, so it's fine. Um, so I just want to. We you don't have to go this way. I just want to go this way for like opening the cylinders and the footlockers and stuff for the loop. There's nothing required to go that way. It's not part of the quest. So on this ship, you'll experience blast doors that you can't open. I've always wondered what's behind them. My suspicion is. Well, I'll, I'll tell you my suspicion, I don't really want to spoil what happens later on. And I realized that in the first conversation that we just had with between Kat and Kreia and myself, Adam said that a big problem would be getting to the bridge. However, the bridge is like next door, and I didn't, I've never understood that. It's a bit silly. Okay, so... <laughs> we're quickly getting through... I'm not rushing myself or anything, it's just it's just pretty swift. So I think that's broken. <laughs> it does look broken. Oh god, we're gonna attack by stealth people. Luckily with my axe, I'm like literally one shot killing everything. Oh. I don't need to worry about them dropping anything, because they never drop anything. Right, so that's the briefing we found. That just basically gives us more logs. And I'm only here for the cylinder. I can pretty much explain um, the logs for you in this part. Uh, they're just basically re reiterating all about the Jedi and is uh, and where it came from. It came from Tilo. Yeah, it, it came from the planet Tilo, this crater. And no, I don't know. It either came from Telos or it was heading to Telos. I'm a bit. Uh, see, I I honestly don't think we have time to like read or watch all the logs, so that's why I avoid them. But at the same time, I need to brush off on some things because I don't remember. But real, yeah. All the logs give you is little pieces of information. I can pretty much explain the main parts of the game, it's just the little things that I've never really watched. So I know I said I wouldn't need the heavy stuff and the heavy proficiency. I'm gonna get it anyway. Not for the robes, because we will be wearing robes all the time, but for the gloves and stuff and the head. And uh, we won't be getting caution, we won't be getting that. Um, we'll get gear head. Why not? So for powers, we're gonna get force heal, so it'll it'll preserve some of our men attacks. At the moment, it won't really do much because of, it's only the level one version of it. <laughs> I'm double checking. I've looted everything. Athens almost dead. Which um, I have force heal. What am I doing? I just, I've already forgot. I just got force heal. So let's see how it's going. Ah, it's, it's pretty handy. It got most of his health up. So this is um. I'm not going to win the video here, because I have plenty of time. Um, we're still technically in the same area-ish. We're on the ship. So, there's nothing in the foot locker. I don't want, to move that. I don't want it, my laptop overheating and slowing down. Um, right, so that's everything in this room. I think there's only like one thing in every room. I think one room has two things, I'm not sure. But yeah. We got an upgrade. Um, next room. So here's another conversation, so I'll talk after the conversation. This was your room? When? We do not have much time. Whatever you intend to do, do it. So apparently, um, these were the exiles quarters before you lost conscious and ended up a Baragas. So I'm guessing, if my understanding of this game, bearing in mind that I haven't played this game in a while, um, but I still do know most of it at the back of my hand. Um, I'm guessing these were his quarters before 
He got transferred to the Ebon Hawk swiftly, and then the Ebon Hawk got fired upon by another ship. Um, and yeah. So I have a feeling we're gonna get attacked again. Yeah, we are. Oh dear. Um, so far, we've not lost. We like this. All three of us haven't died. It's not like we've game over or anything. So, oh, you have input. Yeah. You have improved Hillary as well, Korea. That's quite good. Um, sniper shot's not really appropriate at close range. Adam's not really that strong with a gun. I just figured I'd give him a gun because he suits it. He's, he's, he seems like a. What is he? Is he a soldier? I think he's a scoundrel. Here he is. And he's dying. Let's give him. Yeah, that's a tip. Um. Always go into your items when you're dying and use the med pack burn instead of waiting 5 seconds for your character to use it by, by clicking on it. Because it will save your life. And... Will I die? Nope. Oh my gosh. These guys are deadlier than ever now that they have lightsabers. I absolutely regret putting that mod in my override folder. Luckily, if you, unless you have it as well, you won't have to experience getting slaughtered. Oh my gosh, I literally forgot to heal. Quick, quick, quick. <laughs> you won't have to experience the pains of getting killed by a lightsaber so early in the game. No, Cray, don't die. Because if he dies, I'm, I'm on my own. Come on, we can do this. We can do this. This is the part where I died last time in my playthrough. No. She can't use it because it's not the end. No! Oh dear, this isn't good. Wait, I'll, maybe I'll save it or something. I'll quickly save my game. Uh, <laughs> oh dear. Uh, just in case anything happens, we have to start it all over again. What are you doing? No! Don't get cut there! No! No, what are you doing? Go away! Oh, Atom's up, he's up, he's up. Just. No, he's dead again! What are you doing? Oh my god, that was so scary. At my end, anyway. <laughs> because I was like literally the last alive, and if I died, it would have been game over, and that would have been so good on YouTube. Like, professional wise, me dying in my own walkthrough. <laughs> oh dear. That was close. Luckily, we won't have to worry about Sith assassins with lightsabers after the ship. Like, once we get off it, which isn't that far ahead. Sorry about my screaming, I thought I'd make it more dramatic. We're gonna get attacked again, I know. <laughs> I thought I'd make it less newbie-ish, but... I really don't know, actually. I, I, had, I came up with an excuse yesterday, knowing I'd experienced this, but I forgot it. Ah, we're getting attacked again! Where are they? Adam, where are you? <laughs> Quick, you see this is actually quite scary for me because I don't want to die. And Kraya died straight away. It's a good. Oh, Atom's gonna level up, that's good. Wow. Oh, I need to heal. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm, I'm trying to think of funny titles for this video. Uh, right, he's leveled up, and I'm guessing Kraya would have leveled up as well. Yeah, she has. Let's go because she has no health. Right, I think she has heal now. I don't I don't know. I just don't level one. Yeah, she has heal. Yay! But her heal doesn't seem to be doing as much as mine is. So that's a blaster, that's nothing. Um, right, so we're heading to the next area of the ship. Wow, this is one big ship. Oh wait, no we're not. Sorry, I got mixed up with the doors. Um, uh, Josh Kenyon's cold open. Um, here we can recover all of our health. I think I had full health anyway, so I think that was pointless. But I got some health, apparently. There are some slightly hidden plasteel cylinders behind these tanks, so make sure you search the area thoroughly. Um, we really don't need to use the console, I don't think. It shows a log. Um, that's quite cool, actually. But I. I don't think I'll show you guys. Actually, I might. I don't know. One second, I'm just leave this. It's actually quite quick, actually. I, f I find it that cool. Uh, I tend to get kind of full. Check medical logs. Uh, which one is it? Sith Rocket Drive. Don't think it's one of them. Check for treatment. 
identify call to tank. Check medical lab. Um. Right. Ah, this is it. Hey, it's that guy from um, the cutscene we experienced in part three. The guy who was just sat there with dead bodies and corpses around him. Who kind of looked a bit epic, but a bit creepy. <laughs> oh, he's just jumped out of his cult of tank. I think he's about to go on a killing spree. Which kind of explains what happened to everyone on the ship. I'm guessing they died. Right, anyway, empty... I'm guessing the, the assassins we've been fighting killed them all. Or either he did as well. Right. Uh, we can, I think we can reprogram that if we need to. But, in all honesty, we're almost finished with the assassins. And it basically follows you around and heals you. It's a bit pointless considering we're at the end, but, nah. Uh, la 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 la. Plasteel cylinder over here. I don't know if we need to make med packs or implants at the moment. Even when we have the chemicals, I'm guessing, to do so. Um, that's a blast door. <laughs> I almost say blast doors when I say blast door. Oh dear, we're getting killed. Come on, come on, we can do it. We're pro. Not really, but still. Oh, two down. Come on, don't kill Atom. Throw a grenade! I choose you! And he died. And I think I almost killed Kraya with that grenade. Ah, uh, I'm so good. Not really. <laughs> right, so... Here we have a security door, and there's... This is a storage room, I'm guessing. There's quite a few items. Oh, we got better armor! Woo! We're no longer looking like a stupid miner. I am definitely equipping that. And we got two parts, which is good. We got a package, which is nice. We got some components, so we can make stuff. <laughs> oh, we got a fuel. Oh, we got some pretty nice stuff. Um. Oh wait, I already had better armor. Right. So I'm going to. Uh, I'm gonna give that to me. What's this? Right. Persuade, your, the main character, the Exile, is the only character who actually can have Persuade points. So anything with Persuade, you might as well give it to your main character, unless you have something better. Hmm. Immunity to critical hits, poison, stuff. That's actually quite good as well. Uh, Persuade and Charisma, or... Hmm. Oh, I really want to quit that, but... Yeah, we don't really need to Persuade. It's just plus one point. It's not that right, so... <laughs> Right, we're gonna give myself the armband. Um, ooh, 42 plus 2, over oh, 42. Yeah, we'll have the strength one. He has strength as well. Uh, for Adam, he can have the heavy combat suit. Uh, he can have that immunity. He already has more immunity. Because um, he, he, he can't really use the persuade. Shield, he's fine. Demolition, fortitude. We'll give him fortitude. And for Kraya, he her actually doesn't really change. I'm not really going to do anything with her at the moment because I will have to strip her of everything, and I'll show you why soon. But yeah, look at me. I, I look a lot better now, in my opinion. Right, so before we go through her to the next area of the ship, we are going to go... We're going to go open this door. <laughs> oh my god, everyone's getting killed behind me. No! Why didn't that heal Atom? Why? Why? Is he dead? No. Come on, we can do this, guys. Come on. No, don't kill Kreia. She's old. She don't need to die. There we go. She, she, she's still gonna die, probably. But that's maybe a little bit more reassured. Come on. Come on. Come on. We can... Kreia, use the force to heal everyone, you selfish woman. Alright. That, that, was, that was... Okay. I'm gonna heal us before we all die. <laughs> I think that was actually the last of the fight, last fight with the attack at the moment anyway. <laughs> right, so we just got a log, something about HK50, I didn't really read it, I should have read that to you. Um, <coughs> unlike the others, this protocol droid appears to have been purposely sabotaged. Uh, what did that mean? We found a sabotage protocol droid on the harbinger vessel. It is likely that the HK unit sabotaged it so we could take the protocol droid place and have free run of the ship. <laughs> Wow, that HK droid actually gave 
his plan, a lot of thought, if he even had a plan. Because, I don't know, he, he seems, this seems pretty well done. Right, so that's a blast door. Blast door. I'm gonna say blast doors. Blast doors. Um, right, so we can't go for dirt. We've been in dirt. So, we have the next part of the ship, which is pretty much the last part of the ship. I'll get through this, and then that'll be the end. Before I forget, I'm going to now officially take everything off Kraya. I'm not sure if she loot. I'll explain in a minute. Because we are about to lose Kraya temporarily as a party member. And I'm not sure when she returns to us, she'll have all of her items still. So I'm a bit worried about that. Because even though her items aren't that good at the moment, well, I went through the trouble of getting them. So I might as well keep them. So this is another influence opportunity. He will say he has a bad feeling about it. Just basically what asking what's wrong. Something's gonna get real wrong matter, really. real quick. <clears throat> um, I think what you have to say is we'll have to be careful then, but we have to keep moving because we have to do have to keep moving. Otherwise, we're gonna die. To alive, I'm rarely wrong about these things. Adam has the special ability to sense anything that puts him at risk. When he gets a bad feeling, it's recommended that you save your game. Oh wow. I actually didn't know about the safe and game thing, but well, well, okay, we'll, we'll do what Athens says. We'll override the old gear. Um, um. Okay, so which direction? This way. Well, everything looks a bit flashy and everything, so I think he's right. <laughs> well, actually, I know he's right. So, here's a cutscene. He looks so nice, he looks so happy. <laughs> I have come for the Jedi. Which Jedi? There's like two of them. Which one do you want? I won't get one free. I actually wish we could fight him. I'm in the uh, even when we die, but I wanna give him a piece of my my, my axe. <laughs> At least she goes again, blah blah gone. I shall be along shortly. <laughs> Will you now? Because he seems free in the mood to kill someone. <laughs> okay, so. Sorry, I, I do have a little bit of a cough. Um, right, so, plastic cylinder in the storage room. We got a poison grenade. Let's just chip that at him. He looks like he's like pretty burnt and stuff, so we maybe have to kill him. We got a vibro blade, but I'm, unless it's better than my vibro cutter. 1 to 10. Ooh, 1 to 6. That's not as good as 1 to 10. 1 to 10. I don't really look at this. Um. Upgradable. That's fully upgradable. Uh, so that's more upgradable than that. I might. Yeah, they're probably the same, but this one's upgradable. So I will change it to that. Um. Right. Wait. What? Empty. Empty. I, I just lost myself from them. So we're good. We have so many parts and hardly any spikes. So we're gonna use the part again to open the maintenance door. That will allow us to leave this ship. <laughs> Hopefully before these doors randomly open. They don't randomly open, but before he finishes with the old frail... Frail Kira. Kraya. I called him Kira. <laughs> Oops. This might actually end up going to 30 minutes. It doesn't make a difference, really. So we got some pretty nice items. I'll open that. Uh, there's a workbench here. So we're going to quickly upgrade our items before I forget. <coughs> um... Oh, I can upgrade this. Right, so where's that minor uniform? I'm gonna take that off because I won't be using it again. Let's put stuff in there. So, that gives immunity and resistance. Oh, that gives regeneration. Regeneration's good. That gives immunity. Right, that's what we have. What's the other one, actually? I think regeneration's actually more helpful than that. Well, it gives them more regeneration anyway. We already have regeneration. Not from anything, but in general, but that'll, be, that'll help us even more, I'm, I'm thinking. That's what my instincts are saying, so, yeah. <laughs> We're having regeneration and heat immunity, apparently. Oh, I forgot to upgrade my swords and stuff. Ah, oh, damn. Oh, well, I'm sh there's gonna be more workbenches as we progress with the game. Uh, yeah. 
Right, so everything's looking pretty red now. <laughs> um, I this is the fuel containment pipe that we're about to pass through. The same pipe we saw like literally insert itself into the facility. <laughs> same wrong. Because <laughs> I made it same wrong. Okay, so we just got experience for opening a door. <laughs> wow, and this tell me you're joking. Why is Adam so negative? This is clearly the only way we have of escaping the ship and get into the hangar. God, man, cheer up. <laughs> All right. You need to but trust me, because if you don't trust me, then <laughs> things will happen. So, I'm going to end this video after this cutscene and after our next conversation. Wait, who knows? And I will see you in the next part. I'm, I'm actually quite enjoying this. I hope you are too. I know not many people are watching this yet because um, I'm new to YouTube and I'm not hardly anyone knows about me. But uh, I'm doing this anyway. Hoping that people will, decide, will find it in the future and watch it anyway. And I will be doing other stuff as well, not just Star Wars. I'm not just 100% dedicated to Star Wars. I, I'll play anything really. As long as I'm good at it, I'm oh well, okay at it. I'm not terrible at it because, I don't know. So she basically just got her hand chopped off. What's wrong? Are you alright? And now I'm going insane. Damn, hold on, it's only That'll a be explained farther. later Don't on. Give up on me now. What happened? <laughs> so he's gone from being extremely negative to positive now. So my ha um uh, Kreia, I think she was wounded badly. Uh, huh? How do you know that? Well there was a cinematic. <laughs> I just do. Look, if she's in pain, then that pain's buying us time um. we can't afford to waste. <laughs> Especially if sleeps with sleeps Bible, with Bible with her I actually love Adam for a few months. I just think he's a bit of a dick later on. So we'll, we'll come across that. Oh, I got live side points. I don't even know how. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna end this in a minute. Let's. It's T3M4. It's like it seems it's he got, got dumped by, by let's guess, HK50. <laughs> Deary D Eat. Uh, I know, we ran into the protocol droid earlier, he attacked us too. And then uh, we owned him with my axe. So we technically avenged you even though you didn't die. Don't blame yourself, if you hadn't got us off the administration level, we never made it this far. Actually, that's a lie, because that freighter would have docked anyway, and... Um, <laughs> we would have just gone through it. But yeah. Let's just give the droid credit, it would be nice. So we got influence for T-Frame 4. Even though we can't train him to be a Jedi, but it influence basically opens up many opportunities later on for conversation and backstory. We also got 100 experience and more general added, and we're just gonna quickly auto level him up. Check if he's got. We can't give him any. Um. What's that? Give him? That gives him regeneration. Regenerate. Ooh. He might need that. Um. Demolitions or computer use. Computer use! That's always better in my opinion. We're not gonna give him enough weapon to get a better weapon. Now we, we only have mining weapons. Right, so that's the end of part 5. Um, if you've not already noticed, I have been talking louder so you can hear me better. And, yeah, I guess I've improved on that. You might, you should be able to hear me better because I am talking louder. We'll see once I process the video and stuff and watching myself. <laughs> um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Like it if you did. Comment with feedback. I do read a lot. I don't get any many messages at the moment, but I, I do read them anyway. And subscribe for more videos. I am. I will continue to entertain you. Look at how cool my character is. Well, anyway, let's not lose ourselves in admiring him. Well, I won't. So, why is that not facing the wrong way? You're not going that way! It sleeps with fire boys that way! Right, okay. Um, so yeah, what I just said. Um, so I'll see you in the next part. Um, have a nice day, and I will... I'll see you in the next part. Bye-bye!